Remain relentless till the troops take flight. Make it impossible to justify the cause of this fight. Hi, I'm Terry and this is the Catholic Breakdown. One of the key divisions between Protestants and Catholics is our justification. What saves us? Is it works or faith? The answer? Neither. We're justified by God's grace. Now we accept this justification through our faith. This justification is God's forgiveness and our salvation. Justification is also the renewal of the inner person to become a new creation in Christ. It's a free gift offered to all which must be met through acceptance, which is faith. Now this is where the divide comes in. In my experience, for most Protestants, that's it. The buck stops there. But for Catholics, this is a daily experience. This affects our past and our present and our future because since I've been baptized and proclaimed the faith, I've sinned. The Father's given us free will. We're free to accept him or cast him away. We can choose God or we can choose our temptations. We can choose lust or murder or stealing, etc. And when we do, we have turned away from the new person we have become. To fix this, there's confession, but that's another video. Now let's further this divide and talk about works. When you become a member of the Christian family, you vow to obey all of God's commandments. Do not kill, do not steal, do not commit adultery, etc. These are what I call the sins of action. You have to do something for it to be sinful. But in Matthew 25, in the judgment of nations, Jesus commands us to give food to the hungry, drink to the thirsty, visit the imprisoned and the sick. Failure to do these things is the sin of inaction. We're not doing what we've been told to do. When we are made new creations, we are freed from our ancient sinfulness. We become a healed people because of our justification, and the fruits of our justification are our works. What we do matters. James clearly explains this in chapter 2 of his letter. We must be actors. We must be foot soldiers. We must take care of our brothers and sisters. In James 22, it is written, You see that faith was active along with his works, and that faith was completed by the works. Our faith in God's grace is what saves us. It's what makes us anew. We become agents of Christ's love and mercy. And the fruits of this are our works. If somebody had a deathbed conversion, they'd be saved, even though they didn't do any works, because it's faith alone that saves somebody. But for those who are still alive and living, we must fulfill the commandments that Christ gave us. And if you're watching this video, I'm gonna guess you have some time on your hands. Me feeding the hungry will not get me into heaven. I'm not good enough to get into heaven. And thank God for his grace and mercy. But I will feed the hungry because that's what I've been commanded to do by God himself. I want to be counted among his sheep. So to do that, I have to take care of and minister to my brothers and sisters. Every day I get that choice. I can choose God or not. I choose God. God bless you, and get a colonoscopy! Fruits of our justification are our works. <laughs> My cat's going crazy.